Hello, my name is Charlotte Davis and I'm an ITRT from Norfolk Public Schools. Today I'm going to be walking you through the steps of clearing the cache for your computer. So for some computers, clearing the cache is one way to help speed up the computer a little bit if it seems to be lagging or falling behind. It can also help to clear up some problems if you're attempting to log in, to Zoom, to participate in an online class. So for parents who have not done this before, I promise it's not the most complex thing. There are a couple of steps and I want to tell you up front. This is going to clear out your browser history. So if your student has done searches, they're going to go away. It's also going to log your student out of all websites they might have told to remember them. So it's a good idea to make sure that you have recorded passwords and logins before you start this process. This will not clear out saved files. It will not take away bookmarks. All of those things are going to be fine. All right, ready to go? Our first step is to close all the extra browser tabs. If you're like me, you probably have a million tabs open. So I'm going to go ahead and close all of my extra browser tabs. And I want to be open to just one tab and I want to be logged into Google. So if you need to open up a Google tab, you're going to go straight to the Google homepage. Once you're on your Google page, I want you to look in the top right hand corner. You're going to see three little dots that are stacked on top of each other. When you click these three dots, I want you to go down to More Tools and then across and down and choose Clear Browsing Data. Once the Clear Browsing Data window pops up, it's going to look like this. Now you'll notice that for time range, mine says all time. That's because I use this frequently as a way to keep my computer running quickly and clear out all the extra browsing history and extra stuff in the background. If you click on all time or last hour or 24 hours, whatever it says, go down to the very bottom of the list and choose all time. This is going to wipe your computer clean. You'll notice that it is checked for browsing history, checked for cookies and other site data, and checked for cached images and files. It's this last one, this cached images and files, that seems to be causing an issue for some of our students with Zoom. So once I'm ready, I'm going to click Clear Data. Now this may take a couple of minutes. Mine is going to be really quick because I've done it frequently and recently. But if this is the first time that it has been done on the computer that you're using, it may take a couple of minutes. Once it's finished, it's going to go back to the screen that you see right now. Yours may look slightly different than mine. That's okay. But you do have one last step. The last thing that you need to do is completely shut down your computer. That means close any open files, close any programs that they might have running in the background, completely shut the computer down, then restart the computer. Once you have completely shut down the computer and restarted the computer, that finishes the process for you. Then I would like you to go back and attempt to log your student back into Zoom following the web link directions that were sent to you by your summer school teacher. If you're still having an issue with connecting, please contact your teacher or your school administrator and they will get in touch with one of the ITRTs so that we can assist you further. Thank you.